Do you wish your Big Mac was actually big? With this simple hack, you can really add some heft to your favorite McDonald's burger. The McDonald's Big Mac is undoubtedly a hearty meal, but what do you do if you have a supersized hunger that a regular version of the burger can't satisfy? Well, you grab a bigger Mac instead, using one creative trick. Frequent McDonald's visitors know that employees are typically open to modifying many of the best-known menu items with readily available ingredients from other meals. For instance, there's one sandwich that consists of a whole McChicken sandwich inside a McDouble. There's even a gargantuan land, sea, and air, which adds a filet of fish patty to the mix alongside the McChicken and burger. They're all the result of the creativity of McDonald's diners themselves, not corporate food science or focus groups. If you're looking for a more substantial Big Mac, you can ask the staff to swap out the traditional patties for the heftier ones used for the chain's quarter pounder. Since typical patties weigh in around 1.6 ounces and quarter pounders just over 4 ounces before cooking, this is an easy way to more than double the amount of meat on your sandwich. You may be asked to pay more for this mega burger, but the premium is likely worth it for especially hungry diners. Keep in mind that since it's not an official menu item, you may find restaurants unwilling to make it for you. Still, dedicated parties can always buy the parts and assemble them on their own if they're simply looking for the experience. I call it the Big Mac idea. What? No. Big Mac idea it sounds encouraging. Those who want to downsize their Big Mac can also slightly modify a cheaper menu item, the McDouble. Simply ask to replace the sandwich's ketchup and mustard with Big Mac sauce. This creates a similar flavor profile to the Big Mac, minus the shredded lettuce and middle bun. Such customizability is one of the many reasons the Golden Arches have earned so many fans over the decades, not to mention an ever-evolving selection of secret delights for diehards. Of course, the idea of altering the Big Mac's size has also occurred to McDonald's itself. Back in 2017, the chain honored the sandwich's 50th anniversary by serving the limited edition Grand Mac, which was made with even more substantial patties. Each patty weighed a third of a pound, which is nearly as much as a quarter pounder and regular Big Mac patty combined. The burger was also served on larger buns and came with an additional slice of cheese. At the same time, Mickey D's also debuted the Mac Jr., which came with a single Big Mac patty dressed with the typical sauce and toppings. This is similar to the modified McDouble. Both styles were marketed toward millennial diners, who the chain saw as an untapped market in the Big Mac realm. The desire for a sized-up sandwich might be linked to perceptions that the traditional Big Mac patty has gotten smaller. In a 2023 Reddit thread, numerous users claim McDonald's has shrunk its patties over the years, with some arguing they've received burgers with patties as small as 0.8 ounces. It's unclear whether any evidence supports these accusations or, as others suggest, the patties have always been on the smaller side. If you're looking for a supersized Big Mac experience, you don't actually have to travel to the Golden Arches to get it. You can find plenty of copycat Big Mac recipes out there, and it's easy to switch these out for quarter pound or even third pound alternatives. You'll have to modify your cooking process a bit, however, by adding significantly more time than the approximate 90 seconds to two minutes McDonald's takes to cook its burgers. With larger patties, you can also worry less about finding an appropriately sized bun. Patties sized for a normal Big Mac can sometimes look tiny on typical burger buns. Whether it's a promotion on the actual menu, a modified secret menu order, or a homemade replica, there are many ways to turn your Big Mac into a bigger Mac.